Hey, I was going to show you how I practice. Be care. Um, I like to set up shots I have trouble with. And I'll start easy. You know, like a straight shot that's kind of close. And then as time goes, I will make it harder. And the secret is to make it difficult during your practice. So when you're playing a real game, it's easy. Easy money. So this one, you just want to draw back a little bit for the four on the side. And I did way too much. But that's okay. So you can still adjust. I had that pocket open still. <clears throat> now look, I gave myself too much angle on that five. That might mess up my six ball. So if I use a little English on the inside, it holds it better to the uh, rail. And it doesn't go as crazy. This one I just use a little left English. And I try to get straight in as straight as possible. So now I didn't. I'm at an angle. So that kind of stinks. I could do kind of fancy stuff, I suppose. Like just for the purposes of the video, I go with three rails, right? For the five, for the eight ball. But I don't want to be straight in. I don't want to be straight in. So I'm a little straight, so I'm going to draw it back and try to get a better lead. <clears throat> Not bad. It's a lot. I'd rather be right here. All right? So again, all I, do, I, I don't break. Sometimes I'll practice my break. But normally I just throw the balls out and just I just spread them out. I'm not thinking, where's this ball? Where's that ball? But what, my main priority is I have a shot I want to work on, and I will work on it during this practice. So, and I don't want them clustered. I want them to spread out. So this is usually how I'll start. I have trouble with straight shots lately. And I want to make sure all, everything's clear to give me some confidence building. As, as I play more, I just got here, so um, as I play more, I'll, I'll make the, the racks more difficult. But one thing you got to do is when you're practicing, you got to build confidence. This is a, every, every sport is psychological. There's a lot of physical. But at some point, the psychology could actually make the difference uh, more so than the physical. So, like right there, I missed, because I was trying to get fancy lead. Look, it goes anyway, right? <laughs> but, so I got rewarded for a bad shot, really. Fantastic. So like this, if you just shoot this, it's either scratching here, or you go down there and get horrible shape. I just do a little low English to keep it away from that eight ball. I don't want it to hit that eight. <clears throat> and I gotta get up here, you know? And I always want a little angle. I don't want to get straight in. Um, I don't like this because of that eight ball sitting here. It can mess me up. So I use a lot of left English. And it just holds it right there. Now this is a far shot for me. This is a great practice shot. I hate shooting this far away. So what I want to do is draw into it. Because I want to get it closer to my eight. And this is great. A little bit of angle. You, uh, you could not ask for a better shot. Low right English. Get perfect on the nine. Crazy good. Playing tournaments in no time, huh? You'll be playing tournaments in no time. So, again, like I, I went, I went a couple months just practicing the straight shot. I went a month practicing a bank on the one ball because I had trouble with banks, and then um, uh, cutting the ball, I had a lot of trouble. But this month is just straight shot. Like I want to practice different straight shots. Now here I want to get up for this three. If I miss, I still have there, and I have here. So, I actually kind of like this. A little left. I took the conservative shot. Try not to get too fancy, you know? A little right English to go sw swirl around the five ball and come back. See that? <clears throat> I want lead for the six. Personally, I don't want to be down here. I don't like that. So I'm going to come off the rail and come up here. A little right English. Let's see if we got it. All right. Well, that was kind of a bad shot. I'd rather be here because I got to get lead on that seven. 
So, and I don't want to get stuck behind this eight. So I'm going to come up and just kind of be in this area. <clears throat> Watch out, eight ball. <laughs> Almost got me. A low left and come around two rails. One, two. Don't scratch. Better not be scratching. All right, horribly, right? It's okay. I can make it. Um, but you, see, you don't want to be shooting hard shots all night. You want good lead. So I'm just going to use low English so I don't scratch. And I need to come up like this. Which I did not, so I have a choice here. I could do monster cut, or I could cut it down there. Now, if I cut it down there, it's likely to scratch if I don't use right English. So which one looks easier to me? It just depends how you feel. Like, this feels okay, I guess. And I have trouble with you, so I'm going to practice this one. I'm not going to hide from it. I want to hide from the hard shot when I'm gambling or something. You know? Or when I'm in a tournament, I want to hide from the hard shot. But in practice... Why do I want to hide? From, why do I want to make myself feel so good in practice and then go lose a tournament? So, again, if I just do a stop shot, I'm stuck behind the eight. I got I to draw it back. And this is, a, this is a harder one because my three ball can't go down here. All right. See, so now I'm like, eh. But I say, you know what? I only stroked it twice. I learned my lesson. shot seriously, you know? Don't goof off. Now, this three is tough. I'm going to try to come around the six ball best I can. Ah. Trouble, trouble. So, I screwed up. So, normally I'd play a safe, but since uh, I can't really do that here for myself, try to go for some slop action. Did I get anything? Oh, yes. Stop action worked. Let's see if we can make this with just a simple stop shot. See that? And you know, you, you slop on somebody and then you run the table, seriously, you will destroy their psychology. I'm just pulling it back for the seven. I want just a little right English on this to keep it in line. I, I didn't do enough, but that's okay. This is going to naturally flow this way and leave me for the side. <clears throat> if I just use low English, and I, again, I'd rather be right here, but that's okay. I mean, not a big deal. Uh, I got lucky on that one. Pretty lucky. In a horrible shape. So, um, you know, I try to spread them out. I, I can't stand them practicing when they're clustered and I'm not warmed up yet. So this one I'll do a little bit of a cut. <clears throat> Try to come off the rail for the two. But I gotta navigate around the six for this three ball. So I'm gonna use low left. No big deal, right? No big deal. I mean here I want to use right English or left English to come up here. And I, I'll, I got here, I got here, I got so many pockets I can make this in. <clears throat> so, I don't like that shot. When we push that 7 out of the way, that was good. See that 8's going to get in my way when I come off that 5? That's going to mess up my 6. So I've got to draw away from the 8. Or use top. Let me try this. See if I can navigate around the 8. Hey! You did it. What a good boy. Now, if I just stop here, I'm dead. I better be able to draw this ball back for that seven here. Wow, can you believe I just did that? Again, it looks so easy, I stroked it like three times. I gotta take these seriously. See, this is good practice. Take it seriously. I just want a stop shot. I'm not gonna do anything crazy, but if I want to, I come off that rail like that <laughs> and get a better lead. Maybe not perfect. I want to show you all my flops. You got to see all the flops so you can see how somebody practices and, you know, perfect.
affects the shots different. So, you know, my slice isn't that great lately, but my straight shot's getting better. So here, I want to just pull back a little for the two. Again, look, I missed. Oopsie, focus, stay focused. The easy shots are the one where we get in trouble. All through, <laughs> stay down. All the things you forget. I'm gonna hit it low to get leave in the side over here. That was almost good. That yeah, was all right. Just kind of a stop shot. And then I want to be like here, you know, kind of in this area for the five. <clears throat> and I want to be up here for the six with a little bit of an angle. That's horrible, by the way. <laughs> that is just down. But here, I got to practice my cuts again. Now, if I, was, if, I was, if I was practicing banks, I would bank it over here. Which one do you want to see? You know, I haven't, I haven't banked in a while. Let's just bank it. Oh, now here's all the deal. I'll just go, boom. No. Seriously, this is practice. My bank sucks. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it's somewhere on that. And you just keep practicing until you get it. It's not a big deal. And then later, if I miss two or three the same types of shots, I'll go back and do them a hundred times until I feel like I got it. That's the whole point of practice, is to find out where you're weak. It's not to look like you know, like this is horrible. I gotta come around, so I'm like, screw it. I get mad, I'm just gonna do that, you know? <laughs> that was a horrible leave. <clears throat> and I got the short side, it's just great. Everything's working out, huh? mm. I do shoot fast enough. Um, if I'm playing in a tournament or something, I'm not gonna shoot this fast. But again, I try to make it a little bit harder than normal. So when I slow down, it's actually easy. Now I've been shooting straight shots on this side of the table the whole time. How about this side? You never know. Maybe I have a favorite side. You ever think about that? I don't want a favorite. I don't want a favorite shot. I don't want a favorite side. Wow. Now that was just downright horrible, right? Yeah, it's horrible. And I'm thinking, why are you so unfocused right now? You know, stay down. Follow through. It's easy. Now I'm going to pull it back. I just want to do a little bit of draw for this three ball. Nothing crazy. Because, I mean, here's an easy shot. I don't need perfect lead. And then I pull it back a little bit for the four with a little low right. Like that. The five is going to go in the corner. Over here. <clears throat> now I did it too hard. Bad boy. You know why that was too hard? Because look where the six is. Ouch. So I'm not going to have a good lead on the six. But I'll have okay lead. I mean, most people would hate shooting that, but luckily I did my slices last month, you know? <laughs> a little low. <laughs> Try to avoid that eight ball. Dang. That's, uh... So this one, I want to stay just left English, so I keep it here for the eight ball. I want to keep it over here for the eight ball. Hello. What are you doing? See, that was bad, guys. <laughs> just jacking it to a little bit. Oh, man. All right. I'm not really too worried about that one. I just move on. Sometimes I know that's not a shot I want to practice, so I just move on. I hear about jacking up. You know, it's not jacking up and making that crazy shot. No, thank you. But these are the shots I want to practice. Sorry, you bumped me again. See, the straight shot's getting easier. You know, like I'll challenge myself just to leave it a, a simple shot like that instead of trying to get crazy for the side. Like sometimes just a bunch of stop shots. This, and there's another stop shot. But see, I need a little angle on this five. Otherwise, I can't get down to the six. See, if I was straight in right here, how am I getting down to the six ball? You ever think about that? Hmm? You've seen me do that shot where I do the three rails, or two rails even. Now this is an easy cut, but let's just say I'm working on my banks right now. You know, I'll just bank it. Like, big deal. And get perfect lead. <clears throat> now I'm not working on my banks, but if I was, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there you go. So, you know what that was? I wasn't really focused. I didn't stroke through. I took it for granted. 